Hey guys, it's Rick. It's been a long time since I put something up and this would be the reason why. Been very busy. Um, I have a new job and I was cleaning stuff up but what you have just seen is pretty much gonna be my office. Um, yeah, I'll explain in a second. I just wanted to give you a quick show I uh, if you follow me on Instagram I put up pictures of the garden I just planted today and that is roughly 50 by 100 um, so yeah so I am going to be a sheep herder I was hired full-time to start this what you're looking at as I keep panning back and forth and hopefully it comes out okay um, yeah, it's going to be a, a sheep farm starting from scratch. I have to put up fencing and everything. So, yep. So, yeah, got my work cut out for me right now. Cleaned out most of the barn downstairs and left my job at the school. Which really wasn't a easy decision because I really miss the kids um, but I'm only actually two doors down so they can come visit anytime and I have no idea if this is going to come out because I was pointing you out and I'm pointing you in and being inside the barn a little bit um, so I'll have more to come I just wanted to put something up quick and say hi and thank you all the subscribers and new subscribers that I've gotten um, so that's why I haven't been putting stuff up uh, I just haven't had time uh, trying to get everything squared away plus I need to put my house up on the market and sell my house so I've been doing home improvements too because I don't have enough to do uh, so yeah so I'll uh, I'll cut in right in here and show you the Patriot IPA that I have cold crashing and I know I'm squinting because it's bright out there and dark in here plus I think I need new glasses but I'm rambling now um, so yeah I'll put in a shot of the New England IPA that I put in uh, that I did um, I didn't get any video of that but it's coming out pretty good uh, I used a lot of Citra, Machueca and um, Denali and then and the, the taste without it being carbonated yeah it came out I think it's gonna be a good one so cheers everyone I'll cut that stuff in here and hopefully I'll be able to get some more stuff up on a regular basis. So, cheers everyone. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's Rick. We are going to keg the Patriot New England IPA. So, Bridget's here. She's going to help. Hi, Bridget. Hi. So, we animated it and all of a sudden. Alright. Anyway, let's get it out of the fridge. Cole crashed it. Keg is ready. It's already been star sand, purged, everything. I'm just gonna clean up that and off we go. Let's get that out. Ready for the top. Yep. Um, that's a lot of heat. Yes, it is. Before we connect all that, let's get a sample show. Patriot IPA, New England IPA. Oh wow. What is it? What do you smell? Tell me what you smell. I don't know if they can see you on camera. Um, what do you smell? Don't taste it, just smell it. 
I don't know what I smell. I smell mango. Oh yeah. Orange. I kind of smell orange. Grapefruit, definitely grapefruit. Yeah, I smell that. Let's taste it. Oh wow, that is going to be fantastic, carbonated. Getting more. I carbonated before. <laughs> yeah, only well, because. Not in this yet. It was carbonated in that. that yeah. That's actually pretty good. It ended up being a 6.5% um, alcohol. I got, it started at 1060, went down to 1010. Used uh, London Ale 3 um, yeast. The dry hops. Wow, what a difference the dry hops made. Because I tried it before I dry hopped it and it wasn't, wasn't this fragrant. And it wasn't this. It didn't have the real juicy flavor. It had more of a pith. But this definitely had kind of a, a pith in the background, but it's quite juicy up front. That's going to be good keg. So, let's move on to step two. Star sand. That's why we're doing it in the garage. Yeah. Bugs didn't like it. Bugs didn't like it. Feed off the. Sorry, I turned my back on you. Maybe. I can hold it. You can hold it. Hmm. Camera work at its best. Get it? Mm -hmm. Don't drop it. I won't. No. Straight. Got it? Hmm. shaking all around. Mm. Kind of hazy. You're shaking it too. I know. I'm trying to Don't move it slow. It I'm not going to drop it in. What's that? That's very what is this? My six-year-old is telling me how to do this. Mm. She's usually pretty good at the camera. Alright, let's put you back up on the perch. Yeah, the perch. That way they can see. It's not a bird's nest. Yeah, it is. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'll probably put this. Hey, 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 don't get anything in it. I'll probably put this on 30 pounds. For, I'll bring it all the way. I'll purge it a couple times after I get it in there. Um, bring it up to 30 pounds and take it off the gas and let it sit for a week. I've had actually pretty good. Uh, Pretty good carb doing it that way. If I bring it up to 30 pounds, just let it sit. Uh, at 30 pounds, they disconnect it and leave it. Mm -hmm. Give it a week, it usually has come out pretty good. Don't drop that in there. <laughs> good help, hard to find. So, in a week's time, I'll come back and give you the final thoughts on it. I think, I've, I, think I may have gotten it. it, does need a little bit of tweaking. Oh, and go check out Nude Brew Tom. He put out the Coconut Shy PA, and I am definitely doing that one. Thank you so much, Tom. I know you don't subscribe to my channel. I don't. So, but anyway, go check him out. He put that up. He won third place in the silver. Him and him and uh, Harry Brew when they did it at uh, Idol Valley Brewery. Then he entered it into a uh, contest, and they they came in third. It just it it sounds very intriguing and I watched it when they were doing that all before so he finally gave all of us the the thumbs up from Big Poppy to go ahead and brew it so I'm gonna brew it probably with my assistant and uh, yeah I videotaped that so thanks for watching thanks to all my new subscribers 
Cheers. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>